Hello there, I'm Maria C.P. Hunter, real estate broker for Su Casa, Su Castillo. And today we're going to be talking about mm, savings for people who are getting closer to that age and people who don't have not one thought about it. Well, I'm here to tell you that you should because if you plan to continue your work pace in the next 20 years, whatever you're doing now, and let's say that you feel pretty tired today to get up and go to work, so you add drama to that at complications of health and just plain tired of working. So what's going to happen? If you cannot afford your life today, you will not be able to afford it tomorrow. So you need to plan for it. And the way you do it is, I know many people say, I cannot afford not even my bills today. How can I afford it? Well, look, we're going to talk about that in another video. But today we're going to talk about the basics, which is simple. From every dollar you have, 10 cents for you. From every dollar, from every ten dollars, a dollar. From every hundred, ten dollars. The one percent for yourself. That's what I'm getting at. Basically, it's not a lot. This is just to get you in the habit. If you're not in the habit of savings, now remember, savings are not gonna be growing. They're just maintained. It's a money that accumulates and maintains. What you need to do once you have enough money is to either have a 401k if you have one at work and you must maximize the time you are work and the benefits if you're already working. A lot of companies match you, whatever you put in. What they do is they withdraw it from your paycheck every pay period and they you know, grab this money and invest it for you. So it's not just a savings, it's actually they're investing it for you. At the end of your, uh, when you end up working, you stop working for this company, let's say you could roll it over to another company and it will follow you, okay? And and so you don't have the point is that the government do not uh, tax you on this money because they are letting you save for yourself. And if you do withdraw it before time, then what happens is you get penalized, but it's still your money, and you still it's a form of savings, okay? For some for the people who are gonna do it for themselves, if you don't have the the willpower to put it away yourself, at least get it out of your paycheck. And if you don't see it, you don't miss it. You're going to be hurting, you're going to be tight, but you know you're going to get used to it. You're going to have to get used to dealing with your budget. Because if you if you plan to live 20 to 30 years, unless you plan to die before that time, then you don't have to worry. But life is very expensive, and, it, and there is a cost of survival. It's a cost of living, cost of survival. Basically, just to maintain yourself is, uh, is whatever it takes to maintain your basic needs, okay? And that varies from people to people. So you will have to evaluate how much you need per month. Whatever you're spending now, plus 20 years and add inflation to that. Plus medicine is really, really expensive. So if you don't have health, in your, uh, most people get sick because they work all the time. So it's like a catch-22. Now, for the people who work for themselves, I suggest the same. Put the money away because the, the value of money you're creating today because you're working is not going to continue. I see it all the time. People who, who make a lot of money for themselves, working on their own, and then but they they spend it like they make it, and at the end of the day, they don't have nothing saved, and they they start worrying at the end, and then they become bitter and all. Don't do this to yourself. Put some percentage for yourself, just like if you do for your business. You are your own business. It's a love account. That's why I call it a love myself account, because you you cannot rely on anyone, okay, by yourself. So. Don't think that the government's gonna take care of you. Don't think that your relatives are gonna come, because it's hard for you. It's hard for if hard for you. It's hard for everybody, young and old, okay, to maintain a cost of living today. So I hope this has helped you. Just a little percentage. Uh, skip on a coffee cup. Skip on uh, you know little treats that you give yourself and treat yourself with this money that you're gonna use. How are you going to be in 20 to 30 years? Are you going to be doing the same thing? Are you going to have the same value of energy? Think about it. Especially think of me when you're waking up in the morning, getting ready for work. You're going to be doing this for another, what, 30, 40 years? Think about it. Okay. I hope this has helped you. Till next time.